in what turned out to be the longest game in Predators franchise history. 35-year-old Mike Fisher banged home the winner in triple overtime to cap off a 4-3 victory and change the complexion of this series. Yeah, I mean, we were just trying to do it all we could do to um, just to find a way, and everyone did a great job. Um, everyone in our lineup played, played solid, played hard, and um, it was a great hockey game, and our fans were... <laughs> Had as much energy as anyone. It's exciting. I mean, when you're up till 1:15 in the morning playing playing hockey, and all the fans are there, and you got to do it at home, it's it's pretty exciting. I think we were we were keeping it pretty loose and having some fun with it. You know, saying you know who's going to get it, and you know, just believing in ourselves. So it was, uh, it was a great job by everybody. Peck made some big saves. When you get that deep into a game, there's a lot invested. Um, so happy for the guys for the for pulling it out and getting the win. They invested a lot. Um, there's a lot of character in our room. Our guys played like champs tonight. It's a long game and <laughs> just to stick to stick with it and and still play our systems and not cheat and just go you know wait, be patient and, and then we when when we get our chance we bury that. It shows a lot of character when you when you pull out a win like this. Pecorine stopped 44 shots and seemed to get better as the game wore on. Head coach Peter Laviolette even said Pekka was simply at his best in this game. That's all you can say. With the win, the Preds even up the series at two games apiece as they head back to San Jose on Saturday night. Reporting from Bridgestone Arena after a long but memorable game four, Chris Harris, Channel 4 Sports.